Hello everyone and welcome back to Beyond Evidence. I know you all have been asking about the UPSSL 758 outsourced forensic post. My inbox is flooded, my page is filled with DMs and I cannot possibly reply to each one of you one by one. So today this video is your complete one-stop solution. I'm going to explain every single detail from the type of post, eligibility, salary, district allocation and most importantly when and how the recruitment will actually begin. So let's start with the most important thing. Recruitment has not started yet. Mark my words, recruitment has not started yet. Yes, the government of Uttar Pradesh has approved 758 post under FSL UP and it's official but the recruitment will happen through a private manpowered agency not directly by the government. So this agency will be selected by the GIM, Government E-Marketplace. So only after that, the recruitment process will officially begin. So now let's talk about what kind of posts are there. See, there are 758 posts. These are divided into three categories, grade 1, grade 2 and grade 3. See, grade 1 is a senior forensic expert. Uh, Total 75 posts are there for grade 1. Uh, for educational qualification, they need MSc in Forensic Science, Chemistry, bio Biology, Physics, Biotechnology, Genetics or Equivalent. Experience they required minimum 1 year in Forensic Lab or Field. And your expected salary will be 45,000 per month. Inclusive your PF and ESI. And what kind of role you have to perform in grade 1? See, you have to lead district level forensic responses, visiting crime scene with the police teams, supervising evidence collection and writing forensic reports and coordinating with SP, SSP and zonal FSL officers. So now discuss about grade 2. It's junior forensic expert. See, there are total 183 posts for grade 2. For educational qualification, they need same. MSc, forensic science or any other subject of sciences. But for experience, they need only minimum 6 months. 6 months of internship in a lab. Or your expected salary will be 35,000 per month with PF and ESI. Now, what kind of role you have to perform in grade 2? So you have to assist grade 1 experts at scene and the lab and handling forensic kits, chemicals, documentation and also you have to you know go for lab analysis support like toxicology division, DNA divisions and ballistics and etc. And one more thing you have to maintain digital documentation or sample tracking. It's totally depending on your supervisor and also there is one desirable qualification which is fact hold. Fact qualification. So if you have fact or you are a fact holder, you are given a proper, you know, chance to accept your written test. You are directly going for the interview. So this is on ground duties. Now we are talking about grade three, it's scientific assistant or a lab support. See, it's total 500 posts for grade three. So these are the job for freshers. If you are fresher, you have chance to work with the government directly. Okay, this is very first time in a forensic history. There are number of posts for you. So see, there are total 500 posts for grade 3. Uh, educational qualification, they only need BSc with two science subjects. Okay, forensic is not mandatory. Life sciences is not mandatory. Only two science subjects you need. Or you, you can have BSc in computer science or B.Tech in engineering disciplines. Uh, experience, no experience because it's for fresher. An expected salary will be 30,000 per month. And job role you have to do is assist with uh, evidence packaging, sealing, documentation. You have to help with uh, mobile forensic cyber tools, field instrumentation and basic lab supports. So this is a great entry level opportunity for science and engineering graduates for being their forensic journey. Okay, now let's uh, discuss about the district-wise post distribution. See, we already discussed about the grade 1, grade 2, grade 3 job. Now, how many districts have how many posts? See, there are 17 posts in Lucknow, Ghaziabad, Kanpur, Prayagraj, Noida, Gautam Budhnagar especially, and Varanasi. And there are 13 posts in each district, uh, Bareilly, Merat, 
अलीगढ़ सहारनपुर बिजनौर आजमगढ़ गोरखपुर जौनपुर बाराबंकी मथुरा फिरोजाबाद मुरादाबाद उन्नाव खैरी सीतापुर एंड ऑल अदर डिस्ट्रिक्ट आई मेंशन इन माय डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड देर आर एट पोस्ट इन ईच रिमेनिंग फोर्टी नाइन डिस्ट्रिक्ट इंक्लूडिंग झांसी बांदा इटावा एंड मेनी अदर सी ऑल द डिस्ट्रिक्ट वाइज पोस्ट आई ऑलरेडी मेंशन इन माय डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो यू मे चेक नाउ मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड यू नो नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स माय इनबॉक्स इज फिल्ड विद द सेम क्वेश्चन हाउ रिक्रूटमेंट विल हैपन सो नाउ लेट्स ब्रेक डाउन द रिक्रूटमेंट प्रोसेस स्टेप बाय स्टेप once the gem agency is finalized see the recruitment is not yet started agency is still in the step of finalizing so to apply you have to you know after the selection of agency it totally depend on the agency how will they start recruitment first you have to go for written test it depending on the agency they will take online or they will take offline okay after the conduction for all three grades syllabus of forensic science basic domain and basic knowledge of reasoning aptitude this will be the syllabus see for syllabus will have another video a total dedicated video to the syllabus and the pattern of examination then we have you know if someone is fact qualified the candidate are exempt from the written test they directly go for the interview round after written test those student will qualify will appear for the interview round by police officer officers and fsl teams after that if you qualify your interview round then there is a document verification after document verification there is a final posting in your district as per your role thank you so much for watching if this video helped you please give it a like share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to beyond evidence for all updates of this fsl up recruitment for those of you wondering how to start preparing don't worry we have got you covered we will soon share content like a proper syllabus breakdown mock questions study strategies for forensic topics graduates for interview and documentations kya hai wo